With our harsh winter and pretty cool spring, it may be hard to believe, but warm weather really is on the way. I know you're ready for it, but is your house? Maury Barron, also known as Maury the Handyman, is here to re and ready to spring into action to make sure our homes are warm weather ready. Thanks for joining us, Maury. My pleasure. Now, you know, I could do this segment myself because I'm so handy, but I, I thought I'd bring you along. I'd appreciate it. All right, let's start. So in a few weeks, we're going to be able to start planting our gardens and installing screens. What can we do now to get ready for all that? Well, the first thing we want to do is turn on the water in the basement so we can do some watering. And you're going to take your hoses, uncoil them, check them for any kinks or leaks, and have that ready. And when you say turn on the water in the basement, you mean you fill your basement with water? Well, usually there's a shutoff that you turn off over the winter so that it doesn't freeze and break. So you turn the shutoff Turn the shutoff on. back on, okay. and that'll give you water for the hose. All right. Now, this thing here, I can tell what this is. This is a... Uh, a window covering. No. <laughs> You're close. <laughs> what is this? Tell us. This is a filter which goes into the furnace. Okay. And this is something that you need to check and change at least every six months, depending on the thickness and the style. This particular one you change monthly. As they get bigger, you can change them. Can you change them yourself, or do you have to bring somebody in to do no, that? No, you can change them yourself. How come and yours I, looks all white and mine are black? Well, yours need to be changed. <laughs> and then Did you say monthly? These should be changed monthly. And now at the time of year, you do want to bring somebody in and check out the furnace and the air conditioning before we get one of those hot days, and it'll take a while for somebody to get out there. All right, so you change them monthly, not biennially or something. Okay, with this, let's start this. this is a little tiny grill, enough to grill one person's meal. Well, the, we're coming to the time <laughs> of year <laughs> when you're going to start using the grill more. And in doing so, you want to make sure that it's clean. So you're going to take it, you're going to get your shop vac out, clean everything out, and make sure that it is... Um, it doesn't look so clean to me. Well, that's because I've taken out all the pile of ash and the pile of uh, grease drippings and everything else. Oh, I see. So you can see the bottom. There we go. So all you're right. going to clean it out and get it ready for the grilling season. Sounds good. All right. One more here. Two more. What's This looks like a gutter. This is a gutter. And see, if I you, knew that. See, if you hadn't cleaned your gutters before the... Uh, the winter, now's the time to get out there. You want to make sure that you get out all of the debris, all of the stuff that has fallen in there, so that as we get the rains, the gutters don't clog up and ruin your landscape. Even if we had them cleaned before winter, we need them again to be looked at? You want to have them looked at, because you just don't want to take a chance that they're going to overflow. All right. And coming back to that, I forgot to ask you one thing. On the on the grill, um, spiders sometimes get in there and can cause a problem. Spiders do over the, over the winter, over the early spring, and you need a professional to get in there and clean out the burners so that it'll work properly. All right, uh, one more here. This looks like something that has nothing to do with the summer. Uh, this is a fire alarm or smoke alarm. It is, and this is the time of year. Every time you change the clocks, you're supposed to change the batteries. So make sure that you have changed the batteries and that it is safe this time of year. We're really emphasizing safety. Very good, Maury. Always good advice. Thanks for coming Thank you. out. All right, so now's the time to spring into action and check off Maury's to-do list. Then you can sit back and enjoy the warm weather. If you need an extra hand to spring into spring, don't call me. Give Maury a call. His number's next. To find out more, call Maury the Handyman at 216-410-1617 or click to www.maurythehandyman.com. Next, how to make your retirement just ducky.